In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a portrait of President Obama look like it has been taken 100 years ago, like this one. And the link to this image is in the description. And we will also be needing a script and the link to that is also in the description. And also some information on where to, um, on how to add a script to GIMP. So let's start. I'm going to close this one and this one and start with this cutout that I made in my previous tutorial. And if you want to know how I did it, just uh, check the scissor select tutorial and the link will also be in the description. I'm going to start with making a new file uh, that has the same size of the size of our cutout. And that's for me, it's 750 by 1021. It's also the same size uh, that I scaled it to in my previous tutorial and I'm going to click OK. And now we're going to need the script and for you it will be under filters somewhere here. I've got it under script foo. It's made by Quartz 1979 UK and it's called rusted paper. And make sure that the settings are like this and apply drop shadow isn't ticked and click OK. And thank you Quartz for the script by the way, it's a very nice one. And it's done. And now right click on a layer from your layer dialog and click merge visible layers and merge it and click select none. Now go back to your cutout and click edit, copy and in this image edit, paste. Now go to your layer dialog and create a new layer. So the floating layer will become a normal layer like this. And now we're going to go to our move tool and move this to the middle. And when it's in the middle like this, we are going to merge this layer down by right clicking on it and click merge down. And now we're going to go to our ellipse select tool and make a selection around his face like this. Something like this is fine. And then go to select feather, feather by 80 pixels and click OK. And now go to select, invert and Click delete on your keyboard and now go to select none. And now we're going to open a new file. Okay, a new file if you have the same size and click OK. And we are going to use the same script again. And for you, it will be under filters, and for me, it will be under script foo. A same, the same one, Quart uh, UK rusted paper. And with the same settings and click OK and wait till it's done. OK and right click again on the layer and click Merge Visible Layers. Click Merge. And now go to select None. And now we're going to go to this image, go to Edit, Copy, and on this one, Edit, Paste. And now we can close this image and close this one as well. We don't need it anymore. Okay, now in your layer dialog, um, there will be another floating selection. And we're going to make this a normal layer again by creating a new layer. And now I'm going to grab my move tool. You, you can see there's something that needs to be deleted here. So I'm going to pick a large brush and my eraser tool and just erase this like that then go back to my move tool move this nicely to the middle and yeah that's fine now i'm going to go to my background layer and go to colors colorize and use the following settings u 37 saturation 31 and lightness 68 and click OK. Then go to the layer above it and again go to Colors, Colorize and use the following settings. Hue 37, Saturation 31 and Lightness 10 and click OK. Now go to the top layer and duplicate it with this icon. Click on it. And again on your top layer go to Filters, uh, Enhance and Sharpen. And sharpen it by 93 and click OK. And the last step we need to do is go to the mode in our layers dialog of the top layer here. And click Crane Extract. And then 
put the opacity on 10. And now we're done. And this is a portrait of President Obama. That looks like it has been taken a century ago. I hope you enjoyed my uh, tutorial. And if you did, please subscribe and watch my other videos. Thank you for watching.